What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Josh's Hoarder Corner. I have in my hands an eBay win from Zobi that I'm very excited about, super stoked. You can tell by the size of the box, it's gonna fit right over here, boop, boop, with all those guys. Uh, Zobi does great things. Uh, they have their mystery boxes. I've gotten them in the past. I've been happy with them overall. Uh, and their auctions, I've really started to enjoy. I've gotten a lot of really cool things from their auctions. My last auction win from them goes very well with this one. So if you've been paying attention, that might have been a clue. Do I recommend their mystery boxes? I do. Uh, Zobi, I've, I've never been like angry about the mystery boxes um i feel like they they do a great job i can't deny that for a second uh i'll put a link for their website down below do i recommend keeping an eye on their auctions it depends on what you're going for if you're going for something that you think i won't like definitely if you're going for something you think i will like i don't like competition so step off obviously i'm kidding I'm so, oh wow. Oh, this is gonna make it tough. I always put my signed pops in the hard Funko protectors. And Zobi sent me, I'm not complaining at all. Zobi sent me one of the blood splatter ones. And it looks awesome. So that looks, that's awesome. So let me bring this closer to you so you can see it here. Get the light in the right way. Oop, little bit of angle. Uh, so this, there we go. Eddie Kasbrack from Stephen King's It was played by Jack Dylan Grazier. Jack Dylan Grazier has been in quite a few other things. He was in Shazam, which I know a lot of people enjoyed. It was, it was a good movie. Uh, he was in Beautiful Beautiful Boy, which is about Nick Shep, I believe the guy's name is. Um, and I remember reading the books about about Nick. He had like uh, a lot of addictions he was working through, and um, so that that was a good movie too. Um, he was also in a newer one, Don't Tell a Soul, with uh, Rain Wilson. So. This piece, very excited for. Like I said, I have uh, above me, behind me, some of the other kids from It. I have Jackson Robert Scott, who played Georgie. I have, um, oh no, oh no, I'm forgetting his name. Jeremy Ray Taylor, who played Ben Hanscom. So very excited to have this in my collection. Now, the one thing I am trying to see is it looks like the autograph is very faint. Eh, it's not bad. The marker's not the best, but honestly, I'm stoked on it regardless. And I'm stoked because this pop signed with JSA, it goes for, I would say, about 100 and, we'll say 120 on the low end. Um, let's see if I can find it here. Jake Dylan Grazier. You don't care about this, but you know what? Jake signed Funko Pop. $139 is what they're asking for it on eBay today. Uh, and that is through Zobi, it looks like. So they do have some, some available. $139 from uh, their eBay page. But getting it through the auction i got it for i believe 80 bucks was as high as i was willing to go and it sold for um man what was the final price on it 80 was the highest i was gonna go and i believe at the last minute someone took it from like 50 bucks to like 67 but whatever you just got to keep an eye on those snipers when you're doing the auctions very happy uh zobi thanks for throwing it in the blood splatter case it's gonna be tough man like i said i always use the hard stacks and i, I want to keep it in this one now 
or at least reuse this one on a non a non signed pop. But hey, I've wasted too much of your time basically just talking about things that don't matter to you when all you want to see is this. So thank you for stopping by. I will talk to you again soon. Until next time, friends. Stay creepier. Whatever. I don't have a catchphrase, but we'll go with that. <laughs>